Hi guys, it's Anne. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Anne. I am a Chanel lover. If you also love Chanel, if you love Chanel handbags, Chanel perfume, Chanel items all together, I think you're going to find it very comfortable here. So please consider to subscribe and come back to visit me more often. The topic of today, you guys, is all about the heart bag. And you guys know, like, your girl got really, really lucky. And honestly, I have my Chanel sales associate to thank for because I really, really did not expect to get not one, but two. I didn't even expect to get one, you guys, okay? So this is also a surprise because you guys know I prioritize the mini caramel over the heart bags because when they first came out, I thought it just looks young and fresh and I'm not really young or fresh so I was like okay maybe the caramel but then I started seeing all of this unboxing you know on social medias and then I was like oh my gosh like okay maybe I do need that so then I texted my essay and at that time there's like a wait list like people who wanting to have their heart back and on the wait list so I really didn't think I would get you know any and she surprised me with this one and a month later I just got this one so and I absolutely absolutely adore them you guys they are beautiful beautiful you would think well they both are Chanel heart bags in the 22 S collection so they should be very very similar you know the only oops the authentic city card fell out hold on i got it i'm okay everything is under control let's get back i probably won't cut it either because you guys know i'm accident prone so sooner or later you're gonna find out anyway so i might as well show you now but anyways where was i oh yeah so I was expecting it to be like the exact same bag, you know, similar in everything. And the only thing different would be the color. Um, but it's not like that, you guys. Okay, let's get into it. And I would love to hear your comments. For those of you who have had multiple colors of the same heart bag, please let me know if you notice anything like what I noticed. But I would love to hear more from you. Anyways, first thing first, the leather. Okay. This is the white one, okay? You look at the white one. It is be. <gasps> what the heck? Literally, you just saw my life like flash through my face. Anyways, hold on guys, hold on. Oh my gosh, when I showed it closer, I thought I saw my like lipsticks but you know why though because i was smelling it earlier like this wow it came off actually with just a chanel like dust bag i guess never say never you guys and i probably won't even cut this because this is real this is real life okay anyways <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay. I'm intact. My heart is okay. Um, anyways, I was able to get it off. Holy crap. That was scary. Yeah, that was really, really scary. Um, but here you go. This is the leather. If you look closer to it, the leather, the lambskin, even though they're both lambskin, the the black one is significantly softer and like more smooth, you know? The white one is not as smooth as the black one. Um, it's a little bit more like like rough, like thicker, like like I don't know. It just seems thicker, like to the the touch. You know, it's it's rough. It's not as like smooth and buttery soft like the black one. It's not like the leather is not as like smooth. Um, so that's the first one. The second one, you guys, the zipper pull. The moment I got the bag, I noticed immediately that this one is thicker. It is really really thick. Like when you touch it, it's substantial, okay? And this is the black one, okay? Thinner when I pull it is softer, okay? So black one, right? And then it's like it's like more bendy, okay? I'm not sure if that even makes sense, but um, let me show you guys closer together. Right. It's 
kind of hard. Wish I have an assistant, huh? There you go. Why not? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this because I don't want the black one to give the white one any color. Right, you see the difference there? The black one is smaller, thinner than the white one. And then the other thing that I noticed, the leather and the white one, for some reason, feel very thick. Like significantly thicker. Like really, really thick, you know, compared to the other. Honestly, oh my God, my heart, you guys. Um, the inside is very similar between the two. Um, so that makes me really happy. Turn lock was really, really cute. One thing I noticed, okay, like the turn lock, the inside now, instead of having like the, oh, the line, like the old, like the previous Chanel like products, it now has a circle or like, it looks like a flower. Just one dot instead of the, the horizontal line. Inside here is fabric. Inside is fabric in bold. One more thing. The other thing that I noticed too, is if you look at the, I think this would be easier to tell, but if you look at the chain, I think I'm gonna like wear them to tell you guys because I don't want them to like hit each other. Even the feel of it, you know, this one feels thinner. So the chain length here, when I was trying to put in like the um, the chain shortener, it was significantly easier with the black one compared to the white one. But here is there the length. Yeah, just like this, you know. Yeah, because the, since the white one, the white um, leather on the chain is a little bit thicker, it's harder to squeeze in the chain shortener. So that's the other thing that I noticed. But you guys, I think like when it comes to like the leather, the thickness of the leather and all of that. So, you know, the surface, the, the thickness of the chain is, those are all like depends on the lambskin batch. So I'm glad that I was able to see the difference. And man, this thing is buttery, like buttery soft. It's so nice. Versus this one is definitely rougher. Like if you could like touch them together. Yeah, one is really, really soft and the other one is like porous and harder. Like it feels thicker or feels more durable. Um, but I think that has everything to do with the batch itself. The only thing that's like kind of like odd to me is really this. Because even if it is like, you know, if the leather is thicker, I was still expecting the, the thickness of the ziplock to be similar, like of the zip zipper pull to be similar. It's not. The other one was like horizontally wider and thicker. Um, yeah, so I thought that was odd. But with this one, the the zipper, I would say the black zipper is not as like good as the white one, to be honest. Yeah, you could tell, right? Like it's not smooth. Um yeah, you hear that? Yeah, definitely not that smooth. I don't know. But um, yeah, hear that? It's rough. Not smooth at all. Um, will I put some kind of oil on this? No, I wouldn't touch it. Because if anything, I want Chanel to, you know, take care of it for me. So yeah, so I wouldn't mess with it. I wouldn't put any oil or anything on that. But the other thing to you guys, like, I'm not sure if it was because, you know, the the white bag I got first. So technically, this was, could be like one of the very first, like, heart bag, you know, that Chanel, like, produced in the very first, the first time. Because um, this is the black bag I got toward the end of the collection, you know, because the next collection is coming in May, you know, in May to June. So, um, yeah, so if you look at the black bag right i'm gonna use my body um you know so you guys can see the difference but the flip you see how it's so straight and it's beautiful and it's not like coming like it, it just doesn't like come forward 
this this side here but if you look at my white one it's like significantly like bulgy out right it's like yeah this this two little thing here okay yeah it needs to be more like this like the the black bag but it's not it's like like that and it arrived like that okay it's beautiful nothing wrong with it it's not like i'm gonna return it because of that but look at the black one the black one is like perfectly in i'm gonna try to move it down use my body as a background but you see how the black back is very straight right it's not like lifting at all there's no edge lifting and then the white one you could definitely see it like for sure edge lifting there but the black one is just like perfectly aligned you know well behaved so that's another thing that i noticed and i think it could be too that because the leather is more like you know softer buttery so it's like easier to to i guess like bend it that could be the reason for that so these are the biggest differences in between them that i noticed um do would i love this one any less no absolutely not i still think it's a stunning stunning piece and a white heart is just so pure and innocent and a black heart is just so cool and edgy and i don't know but i feel like they're gonna they're here to stay and i don't think they're gonna go anywhere and i think they're beautiful and i think they're gorgeous but those are the the big differences i noticed between them like for those of you who have like the other colors like purple pink um blue i was wondering if you guys noticed the same thing i would love to hear your thought on it um but i just thought that was interesting that you know like very different like zipper pull sizes and the leather felt like so different one compared to the other mind you i did get the black one a month after the white one so you know that could be all entirely like different leather batch all together you know um but i wonder if it's because because i've heard somewhere someone did say that the black chanel is always in a higher quality compared to any other color um so i don't know if it's true um but i would love to hear your your thought on that one you guys and that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell below so you don't miss my next one, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!